Okay, so I know I'm late to the party, but I just discovered soy curls. Go figure. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN, and I follow the Stark Solution. For more information on the Stark Solution, I'll leave a link to Dr. McDougall's book in the description box below. On my channel, you'll find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram. And if you're new to this way of eating or if you just need some more support, I started a Facebook group. So as I stated earlier, I really just discovered soy curls. I had heard of them on and off over the years, but never really paid them any mind. And then all of a sudden I started getting flooded with videos in my inbox of people using soy curls for all kinds of things. I had no idea. So I'm gonna give it a whirl today. Um, no guarantees, but I'm gonna try it and then let's see how it goes. So let's get started. So I ordered these soy curls. They're Butler soy curls. I ordered them on Amazon. And basically they are whole non-GMO soybeans. That's it. That's all that's in here. So how can it be bad? All right, so supposedly you need to rehydrate them. This is what they look like. They're just dehydrated. So I'm going to pour some of these in a bowl and cover them with some warm water. So I'm just going to use about this much because I'm just really experimenting. So I'm going to put some water in here and then, then I'm just going to let them sit for 10 minutes or so and let them rehydrate. Then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. Okay, so they've rehydrated. They're nice and soft now. So I'm going to drain off the excess liquid and squeeze out whatever I can. And then I'm going to season them up and I think I'm going to make like chicken tenders kind of a thing. Okay, so I drained out the excess moisture, I just put a, I just put them in a towel and squeezed it. I'm just going to use some granulated garlic and maybe some onion powder. Get it all combined. And then I'm just going to throw these in my air fryer for, I don't know, I'm going to check them at 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. Okay, these have gone for about seven minutes at 370. They're not, they're just getting crispy, but not quite there. And they don't really have much flavor. So I'm gonna pour some barbecue sauce on them. And then I'm going to put them back in for like five more minutes. Okay, back in the air fryer for about five minutes. So here you go. I made some fries to go with it. Oh my gosh. Let's give these a taste. I think I maybe went one minute too long in the air fryer on these, but they look really good. So let's dig in. All right, we're gonna give these a try. Had some Yukon gold potatoes I just threw in the air fryer as well, along with my soy curls. Isn't this fun that I do the experimenting for you so you don't have to? It's one of my favorite things to do. So, soy curl. We just put a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder. Then after about seven minutes, I, I coated them in some barbecue sauce and then put them on for about another five. Should have been four, I think. Mmm. They're crunchy. Really nice texture. Mmm. I think I like these. Mmm. They're really good. And a lot of other ideas are coming to my mind. Like they'd be good in a stir fry, or they'd be really good like a pulled pork sandwich. Okay, so you will be seeing some soy curl recipes down the line. Just giving you fair warning. So I hope you give this a try. And if you've already tried soy curls and you've got some fantastic recipe, send it my way, let me know. 
and maybe I'll make it on my channel here and we can share it with everybody. Remember, all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the planet, and they're good for the animals, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. Okay, so, so as I said in the intro is, so I said, mm, some granulate, oh, thank you so much. So you're gonna be seeing some, remember all my, Remember, hmm.